What's up guys, my name is Victor, so I basically just bought a new house and a builder who like built a new house for me, he promised that it's kind of my house will be absolutely the same as a model home, but finally when we're signing a closing documents, he just say, hey, so you don't have this, you don't have that, it's just because of our model home is a series 3 or series 2, and basically in all like uh, garage doors, they have like stuff like that, which I basically already installed here on this door. And he asked me around like a 1000 for install this little piece to my garage doors. So I just keep it <laughs> because if I can do it by myself. And so um, I believe it's key. it would be kind of really easy stuff to do it by yourself as well, guys. So uh, let's do it. So basically I bought like, like a couple things in a Home Depot like this it's a ever build it's an ever build company so they provide absolutely the same stuff as your builder trying to put in your garage door so if they try to charge you just keep it and install it by yourself so let's go one in a one complex so basically each complex it's uh, 4899 in a home depot so basically let's open and look at the water inside of the complex. so as I mentioned to you, one complex I already installed for this garage door and uh, I am basically installed like pretty easy just using my uh, electric screwdriver. But here as, as I'm kind of uh, not satisfied with the size of like bolts here because of C, they provide some kind of uh, protection stuff or do not allow you to scratch. But they're like pretty small and I believe that's kind of mostly a complex for wood garage door or garage door with like more you know like thick walls i will use in a, my metal saw to cut it a bit and put this white stuff back again so basically let's take a look what's kind of included in a complex so it's a for this beautiful metal planks and basically two handles and also they provide you a uh, complex over screws or bolts together with a, with a kind of small protection stuff as well, which I just mentioned to you. But what I find out here, so basically these two long bolts, four basically long bolts, they're, I believe so, they're for wood door or for something like this, because if my garage door is pretty thin, and uh, if you in install it, so you just need to cut your bolt like this via your metal. So, so I will use just kind of regular bolts. So uh, let's go and in install for my next door, and I will show you how to do this and how to measure it. Or install it correctly. I will try to show you how to install in my neighbor's garage door. So they allow me to come in and uh, take a look what's what's going on there and how they're kind of how builder install it basically and here i found like a uh, one significant issue basically i will take a look so basically uh, for my neighbor builder install this you know really really plate without texture metal stuff on it and see here is it's kind of a lot of space and uh, i don't know why basically because if i will I already installed for one my garage door like and stuff like this to just kind of uh, create a, a really little space on it to do not allow to scratch my panels. And basically here it's a stuff for double door openers. So they're really plate and uh, my it's uh, too big and I cannot put it like on this way. So basically, I will show you how I install it to my door. I finished to install it in my door. Uh, as I mentioned to you, my neighbor, he has like a really, really plate without like this beautiful texture metal panels. But mine uh, kind of has have a volume and really texture and looks more beautiful. And here is the reason why I don't do not understand why they try to charge me in a one thousand for that. And as I mentioned to you. Do you remember in the doors of my neighbor? So they create like a space like that to do not allow this panel to scratch. But you don't need it. 
you just need probably one or two millimeters to not allow to scratch them. And more, this door stuff. See, here's a kind of a big trouble because if they are pretty big and you cannot put it for this place because if you feel put it to this place, they will be kind of uh, a bit out of this rectangle and looks ugly. So it's up to you guys, but I prefer to install it like this uh, to put kind of more, more distance between them. It still looks good, but you know, it's kind of, it looks like in a place. So my door will be different from my neighbors. Uh, I, I hope my HOA will not push me <laughs> or send me some message to, hey, <laughs> then uninstall this stuff from your door. I, I believe no, but so from my perspective, it looks good. So I will install for this door as well. So I install it on this way. So see here, it's kind of the last, like the top panel, the last panel. And here is a kind of a little swap here, a little space. So I just kind of install this panel in the between, in the middle to show kind of this error in the center of this stuff. Of course, I will a bit like have it more even and create a one or two millimeters between a wall and my metal plank. So basically that's it. Then I will use my screwdriver to fix it and that's it. Let's go. So basically I spent around like a couple minutes to just fix it on my door. So see, it's kind of an error in the center. And it's over here, error is on the center. So I use it as a kind of measurement stuff. So it looks good. Let's switch for in the bottom one. So in the bottom one, I will find the same stuff as on the top and we'll fix it here and put it here, two metal planks. So let's go. So I install in the bottom ones looks already looks pretty already looks pretty and right now we are all install two door handles so as I mentioned to you so it's no like enough space to put it over here because if you will put it over here so it would be a bit out of and I, don't, I just don't like it so I decided to put it this way to use these kind of frames as a pattern to put it on the right way so in a bit in the middle of this space so i will fix it and then we'll show you how it looks like so i installed one of them and right now we'll install another one and we'll show you in the whole picture of both of my garage doors and after a minute i installed both of them so and let's take a look how my garage doors looks right now I believe it's much, much better than initially without this decor elements. So total, I save around 800 bucks. No, eight, basically 900 bucks. Because if builder try to charge me 1000 for both doors for more cheap decorate elements. So do not allow to your builder charge you more. Do it by yourself. If I can do this, you can do it either. Thank you and uh, stay safe in our crazy days. Bye.